All right. Can everybody meet your friends? Yeah. Make sure I meet everybody. Okay. And you. All right. So go ahead. Okay. Well, my name is Makesa Coven, as you guys probably already know, but I'm a diamond leader with um, It Works, and I'm on the Young and Free team. So I started the business about two years ago in November of 2014. I started, or I found out about the company um, just by scrolling on social media. Alina went to the same um, college that I went to, but I didn't know her in school. She was older than me, but you know how you have mutual friends, and um, sometimes on your popular feed, the pictures that your friends like um, will pop up. So her pictures just kept like popping up on my feed. I was like, okay, who is this girl? And this one picture she had like these really good um, before and after pictures with hair vitamins. And I, at the time, was taking Hair Affinity, and it was just breaking my skin out. Um, me and my sisters had all bought Hair Affinity together. We were having like really good results, but it was just horrible for our skin, lots of side effects. So we stopped taking it, and I, I texted them that same night that I saw that picture. I was like, y'all, we have to try this. Like, look at this girl's like growth. And I just thought it was some vitamins she was taking. I didn't know she was selling them. So I actually followed her for a few months, um, I just didn't take the time out and I, this always plays in my head now because when I see people liking my picture and they don't reach out, I know that they're interested and that's what makes me message them. But I'll get, get into that later because I was that person that was liking pictures, but I just never took the time because it is, it takes like five minutes to do, but we, sometimes we just don't have it. It takes time to like plug somebody's phone number in your phone and text them or call them or send that email or I think Alina used to always put her um, emails on her pictures at that time. But I just didn't take the time to do it. So I followed her for a few months. And then in November, she had posted about doing an opportunity call during lunch one day. And it was with Denise Nicole, who's also on The Young and Free. She's a double diamond now. But she was a single mom, and her story just like struck with me because I'm a single mom too. I was at a job that I absolutely hated. I was working seven days a week. Um, and just finding the daycare for my daughters on the weekend was just like heartbreaking. I was just like, I can't do this. So I was like trying to find a new job. And at the time I had told my boss that I couldn't work weekends anymore, which was a, a um, cut in my pay, although it was a good paying job, but I needed something to kind of supplement that income. So, um, I listened in on the call that Friday um, it was like a Freedom Friday call or something like that. But I listened in and I immediately emailed Alina. I was like, look, I, I told her my whole story, like in a whole paragraph, a couple paragraphs. It was like an essay. Like, I'm a single mom. I really need to join this business. Can you tell me more information? Blah, blah, blah. So we got on the phone that night. She went over the business with me. Um, I had already Googled a lot of it. So I already like had questions to ask her, but I still just wanted to think on it a little bit. So and got off the phone. Um, I stayed up really late that night, like Googling. I went on the business, Better Business Bureau, or what is it? The Better Business Bureau. Um, I searched reviews. It works. It works scam. Like just looking to make sure that this was not a scam, that um, I wasn't just going to lose my money. So I didn't find anything bad. I think I ended up signing on a Sunday. And I didn't work my business. I signed up. And I was like completely... Uh, number one, I still thought that I had wasted my money. And then I was like, okay, what am I doing? Like, people are about to judge me. Like, I'm doing network marketing. I'm totally against network marketing. Why am I even doing this? Um, I'm supposed to, you know, have this good paying job as an engineer, and people are going to think I'm begging for money. So I didn't post. I didn't tell anybody about the business except for my mom and my sisters and my best friends. And they ended up being my first customers with hair, skin, nail vitamins. But I didn't work my business up until like March of the following year. And um, when I did start working my business, it was a little bit before March. All I would post were hair, skin, and nail posts because I was afraid to talk about weight loss. So I used to literally sell hair, skin, and nail pills. Like I used to have 400 in volume, but that's all I sold because it was just easier to, to talk about. Um, number one, I was interested in them because that's why I started in the, in the first place. And then my customers were using it and having good results. So I just kept sharing their results and getting more hair, skin, nail um, customers. Then gradually, like I started getting serious about the business. I actually, um, started spending time studying the products, um, familiarizing myself with the different products. And from there, like things just really jumped off. Um, in that July, I went Ruby. 
I got charted for Emerald like a month or two after that. So I was charted at Emerald up until last year in February and I actually promoted to Emerald. Then I promoted to Diamond the following month in March. And I've been charted for Double Diamond for a while. Hopefully I can hit that sometime within the next month or two, um, fingers crossed. But it's just, it's really been a blessing for me just because I am a single mom and having the extra income, it's almost like I have two incomes coming into my household, um, which is really great. I'm able to pay my da daughter's daycare with my It Works check on top of paying other bills, which is just amazing to me. Like every month I'm always just like teary eyed on the 15th when we get paid because I just can't believe that. I'm able to um, earn the extra income without like leaving her. Like she's literally right here on her iPad, probably like pretending she's doing a tutorial or something on YouTube. But um, yeah, so it's, it's definitely a great, great business. Um, working the business and all of that, but uh, going into like how I actually run my business. So I am a totally social media girl. I don't really do a lot of face to face. Um, all of my customers surprisingly have been probably 90, 90% or more are off of online. Like people I've never met before. Um, I'm really hardcore on Facebook. I join Facebook groups all the time. I, I build relationships. I'm in the groups like posting. Uh, I'll post like motivational quotes some mornings. Some days I'll ask questions like in mom groups, just generic questions that I probably already know the answer to, but it's just a dialogue like to get the conversation started. And then you'd be surprised how many people are like, oh, PM me or oh, message me or they'll send me a friend request. And then I'm inter once they're on my page, they start seeing me post about it works. And then they're interested in, oh, what are you doing? Can you tell me more about this? Or um, can you tell me more about the wraps? So I'm constantly adding to my network because a lot of times like our warm market is only so big. So you have to tap into like the millions and millions of people that are on social media. Um, Facebook, I make lists, I'm in groups. I am posting daily. I message everyone who likes my pictures, who comments on my pictures. I don't leave anything for grabs. Like I'm not gonna just let somebody, I'm not gonna get 100 likes and just let it go to waste. On um, Instagram, that's another way that I've been able to grow. Because when I initially started, I had like zero followers. I started with zero followers on Instagram. I started a page separate from my personal page, but I constantly add people and I interact. So those interactions, because you're gonna, I don't like cold messaging. So I want someone to reach out to me kind of first before I message them. So to get them to reach out or to like my post, I'm constantly interacting with them. So I'm gonna, I scroll, I spend at least, in the morning when I wake up, I'll spend like 15 minutes doing it on my lunch break, 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, and before I go to bed, I'm literally scrolling and I'm just liking pictures. If I, I come across a really cute picture, I might say, oh, girl, cute. This one girl today was like, oh, I want to pay off so much debt. Like she had a picture of like being debt free. And I was like, oh, this is such a good idea. Like um, kudos to you, blah, blah, blah. And then she went on my page and liked five pictures. So now I know that she is somebody that I probably want to get to join this business. But you have to interact with people so that they go to your page and they kind of feel obligated to start liking your pictures. And then the algorithms on Instagram are different now. So a lot of the pictures that come on your news feed are people pictures that you've liked frequently. So you want to get on their news feed. Um, as soon as they log in, you want your pictures to be there because you and to get it there, they have to be liking your pictures, if that makes sense. And same thing on Facebook. Um, the more you interact with someone, the more your pictures are going to go on their feed. And then the lists are really great, too, um, just because, like, for the last five days of the month, so I, I plan to really post heavily about products the next five days, but I don't want to, like, spam my, my main page. So I literally go on my potential, my PLC list, and I'll post products before and after pictures just because I know those people are interested. And I'm adding people to that list date. Like, I do it on Saturdays because I'll just go through all of my posts for the week. And I add everyone who's, like, my product posts to my PLC list. I add people that have, like, my lifestyle posts or anything about the business to my PDT list. So when it's time, like, BOGO, like, now I can post on that PDT list because I know those people are interested. Hold on one second. Yes, Riley. What is that? Okay, I see it. So I'll post to um, the potential distributor list when it's, like, heavy, like, promotions. And also, like, when I need customers, I'll post on that PLC list. So 
that's about it as far as how I run my business. I'm totally social media. Um, I actually had told myself today that I need to start blitzing more, but it's so hard working full time and like going when I get off work, I'm like solely on let's get home. I got to get Riley bathed and stuff so that I can um, do calls or whatever else I have to do before I go to bed. So I love social media and you can tap into people that are not local to you. Another thing is join network groups. So when I, I stayed home with Riley, my daughter's Riley. When I had her, I stayed home with her for like a year. And I joined Meetup, and there's a Meetup for like stay-at-home moms in our area, and I'm still a member of it. So there's a, a Facebook group for it, and then there's also a Meetup group. And so sometimes I'll go to like the Meetups um, just to interact and talk to other moms because you want to build those relationships. And a lot of times they'll be like, "Oh, what do you do?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm an engineer, but I'm also an entrepreneur." And they're like, "Oh, what kind of business do you own?" And then that's a, a way for you to just go ahead and explain um, what you do. And there's another mom's group that I'm a part of here locally. So try to find meetup is a really good, um, it's meetup.com and just search. Like if you're a mom, they have young professional meetups, um, and they'll have networking events that you can attend. And then there's also another one called, it's called working mom. Um, and they have meetups once a month and you can do different groups. So I'm in like groups that there's like 10 different groups. And so each group can only have one network marketing professional from, um, a different company. So I have, I'm a member of it works. So in group seven, there can't be any other people that sell it works. There's like a girl that sells unique, um, one that does road in and fills and some other stuff. And then there's a real estate girl, but like, those are people that can become my customers. I just started that this year, but I see great potential in doing it. And then they hope they have like speed networking events and stuff like that. So um, use Meetup, use Facebook to find groups that you may be interested in, um, just so you can meet new people in the area. Anything else, Internet? I don't know if I touched on everything that you asked. I was reading it right now. Um, okay, so I guess you kind of covered it, but like, what does a day in your life look like? Which you kind of already talked about. Um, where you you know you go to work and then you pick up Riley and then that's when you work so how long do you have like a set schedule of how, how long you work on this business so I try um and now that my team is growing I definitely stay on zoom a lot more hold on one second you guys yes you can call her just call her okay um so I definitely stay on Zoom a lot more because I have like Zooms for my main team. Then I have one for like leaders. And um, so I have to incorporate that in a lot. But I'll just go back to like when I didn't have a huge team and it was just like me and a few girls. Um, I basically. Riley, you can go in your room and talk to her on your iPad. Um, so I wake up in the morning. I say around like 530. I try to get up at 530. Sometimes I press news way too many times and it's six. Um, I have to be to work by nine. So I wake up like three hours, three, three and a half hours early. Um, and I usually turn on my gospel music just to get me like motivated for the day. I listen to gospel music and while I'm getting dressed, I'll like listen to, I'll choose a YouTube video. It might be like a leader like this morning, Jessica Edison did a call last night with Ash Elise and it was really good. So I listened to that while I got dressed this morning. And once I get dressed, I make some coffee and I sit at my table and I do like my scripture readings um and after I do my scripture readings like this morning BOGO's going on so I literally sent voice memos I spent like 10 to 15 minutes sending voice memos so what I do is I send a memo to myself on Facebook messenger and then I literally go through everyone that's on my Facebook list and just forward it to them and it's really easy um but I feel like people when you send voice memos people are more, more apt to respond to them um um, so I feel like I, I, I reached out to those people and then by the time, so it's really early when I send those or like yesterday, I think I sent messages on Instagram. Um, and with the messages, I know this is a little off topic, but on Instagram, how I reach out to my likes. So I used to like literally sit down and write down everybody who likes my picture, but it's so time consuming. So now I use a website. It's called webster.me. I think I'm saying it right. I always get it confused, but I, I use that website and you can go in there and click on your picture that you might have like 200 likes on and you can copy all of the, the, the Instagram handles and I paste it to like word and then I'll just print it out. And so that way I can literally throughout the day, like scratch off everybody I've messaged. Um, 
and it saves a lot of time than writing like each picture like who liked each picture out and so i kind of separate so if i post a hair skin and nail before and after picture I'll like put a title on where like HSN and then I'll put weight loss as another subject and then I'll have another line for like or column for lifestyle um, pictures. It's called let me get it right because I always say it wrong. Let me Google it. It's webstome.org, I believe. There's a couple of Instagram sites that you can use, but you just can't do it on the main web um webstome. I'm gonna copy and put it in y'all's chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can also look at your like analytics, like how many people like to each picture and stuff on there too. Um so I use that and that's literally, I try to do, I add to my list on Saturdays and I try to print that out every Saturday. Um, and then throughout the week, I'll just message everybody that liked my pictures from last week. Um, so that's usually what I do in the mornings. I try to send those out like either before I go to bed or really early in the morning because people aren't gonna respond that early. So by midday, I'll have messages to respond to. So I'm literally not sitting on my phone like trying to message people all throughout the day because I have to work. Um, so by lunch lunchtime, and if I, I have someone who's like, oh, can I talk to you today? I might schedule a call with them between 12 and one. That's usually my lunch hour. So usually every day I'm talking to someone on the phone. I try to schedule a consultation where there is weight loss or they're wanting to join the business. Um, and then from five to six, I'm on my way to pick Riley up. So I'll try to schedule calls during that time. Once I pick her up, I try not to talk to anybody until like after eight or nine. And that's usually how my day goes. And um, after she goes to bed, I'm literally working my business in the wee hours of the morning. Um, I used to like, when I first started, like wonder why are these people up so late? Like, what are they doing at two o'clock in the morning? Like, are they just sitting there looking at their computer? I used to literally stay up, like just like, oh, I'm working, but literally you're not working. So you should be messaging people. Um, and if, if I always tell my team, if you have no one to message, that means you aren't, you need people are liking your posts. Because I try not to promote like them cold messaging people because I don't like, wouldn't want someone to cold message me. So that means that you need to grow your list so people are liking your posts so that you do have someone to reach out to. That should be like motivation for you to, you know, work a little bit harder or to add more people each day. I try not to, when I first started, I would add a lot of people at a time. But right now I'm like totally trying to, especially on Instagram, interact with my followers that I do have. In Facebook, I do add more frequently than I do on Instagram now just because I can interact a little better. Because I'll, you can kind of track who you've added recently on Facebook. You can go to recently add it. And sometimes I'll just add all those people to a, a total different list. So I have like a list for new friends or new followers. And I'll like just go to that news feed and just like some, a lot of their posts because I know they're my new friends and I want to get my posts on, onto their page. So I totally believe in lists. It's so easy when you create online events on Facebook, you can literally just, instead of you trying to figure out who you want to invite or just going through clicking people, you can be more strategic. You can just go to your potential customer list and invite all 300 of those people. And then that's all the only people you're inviting because you know that they're interested and they're going to tune into the party. So just be strategic in how you are targeting people. Um, so, a lot, like I have talked about the Facebook list, but um, not a lot of people know what it is exactly. Oh. <laughs> so um, I guess you can kind of go over that. I know it's, it'll probably be hard for you to share your screen, but I did kind of try to show them with that Facebook hustle YouTube, but I don't know if a lot of them actually want Oh, yeah, it. that's really <laughs> great too. I'm going to, I'll share my screen. Hold on one second. Um, okay. Your screen. Okay, so I have in Facebook deleted list like a week or so, like last month, or they deleted all my lists, and I was like totally freaked out about it. But um, 
they brought them back. So I don't follow. That's another thing is I stopped following a lot of leaders because they were just hogging my page. So I don't follow them anymore, but I have them saved on my top fave leaders list. So that way, like if you need posts or you're trying to find like what to post, what they're doing, you can just go to that list. And I see nothing but the people that I enjoy following. I'm not going to like see them all clogging up my, my newsfeed because you want to be interacting with people that's going to give you money. Like these people are already making money. There's no need for you to be interacting with them. Um, so back to the list. So I have, I've been separating. This is another thing too, but you don't have to do this just because I try to like target. I was trying to like do this like opportunity call thing where I was, I was targeting different professions. So I have like one for like my lawyer friends, hairstylists, nurses, college students, stay at home moms, teacher friends, international friends. Um, and then I have the new followers and friends, potential loyal customers and potential distributors. So you can go here, like for the potential loyal customer list, you can go here and then just all you will see are the people that you want to be your customer. And you can just like their post or whatever. And if I wanted to post like a before and after picture, you could post it on this news feed and they're the only people that will see it. And the same thing for the PVT list. And then new followers and friends, interact with them. And so how I add random people, so be strategic and don't just go through and just add people. Try to add people that you have friends and contact with. So you can go here. Here, this is a great way. How do I see all? Okay, so you can go through here and add people. I try not to add people that have other It Works distributors in common because most likely that's their friend and I wouldn't want someone doing that to me, like have integrity. Um, so Sidia is their friend, I wouldn't add her. So I try to remove people that I see they have someone in contact with. Um, so I would add her, for instance, and I just go through and add people that I have mutual friends and con um, connection with. Another great way for you to add people, um, I go to my recently added list. Let's see if she's not a distributor. So I might click on her and go to her friends. Oh, she has her friends locked. Never mind. Let's see someone that doesn't. Um, Cassie. I don't think she's a distributor, no. Um, so I go through and there's go to more and then there's a people you may know here. So I'll go through and like add the females on her list. So I just send friend requests. And see, there's a, we have a lot of friends in common. So most likely they're gonna accept your friend requests just because you have so many friends in common. They're probably like, oh, I, I might know her from school or whatever. So you can just go through and just add. And I try to send at least 50 friend requests a day. So I literally would just go through and add everybody and just do that with a couple of people. And before you know it, your friends list is like growing like crazy. That is so smart. I never even knew about that. <laughs> yeah, because that. I feel like people, I don't, I don't personally like to accept friend requests from Me people either. that I don't have a lot of friends and connection with. Like this guy, his name is, it's a guy first off. Like he's probably about to get deleted. Right. <laughs> But yeah, so do your mutual friends um, recently add it and then go to people you may know. Right. And I think so, I got that off that Facebook hustle or it was off one of these YouTube vi videos. I think Jocelyn Yates does it. But yeah, I like that. Yeah, and I, I was going to say, um, so basically to follow them, you would just go into, let's just say, for example, not follow them, but to put them on the list, you would just go to her and then hover yeah. over her name. So Cassie, I think, actually liked one of my, my distributor posts about being a distributor yesterday. Um, so you can go through. You have to do this from the computer. This is the only, like, downfall about it. So you go to her, the friends button here, and then you can add them to a list. So I would add her to my PDT list. Because she, like, I think the, the post about being a distributor for free. So... Yeah, it's really, really simple. It's just a matter of you going through. And then, like, if someone likes your picture, um, no one really liked that one. Oh, where's one? I think all these people are distributors, but she isn't. So she's interested in their wraps. Well, her profile is, like, 
Let's see. Where's the post I did yesterday? Oh, that's too far. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find this one post. Okay. Um, yeah, being a distributor. I'll show you how I added them to my list. Maybe I deleted it. I don't know. Oh, this one. Okay, so you can go here and click on your likes. And then this is how you click, go through and add everybody to this list, PDT list. She's on my team, but I'll add her to this list. You just go through it. It takes time, but it's worth it in the long run. Um, I highly recommend them. Yeah, because when you do that, that pretty much every time you post, it'll go on the top of their news feed, right? Yeah, it will. If you post it inside of that inside list. Inside of that list, right. And then it's great for like events. That's why I like virtual events now because I'm like really strategic with who I invite instead of just inviting everybody and their mom. Um, I just only invite the people on my list. Right. What, Kayla? Is a free product credit coming back? Oh, with the hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, no, it's because of the free wraps and then the product credit. So I have a question: When you are sending those to your, um, like, when you post for that specific list, is it something different that you do other than just posting regularly on Facebook? No. So you, this would be posting to my regular news feed. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to post on a list, like I'm just going to click on a list. Like, say if I, a I can't do that one because I'm just following right. these people. Um, I don't know if anybody's on this list. Um, Got it. So you would just post. click on, the, the, yeah, so on that list that you want. Mm -hmm. And you can see here it says attorneys and lawyers. So that's going to be the only people that can see it. Got it. Okay. So if you had like, for instance, a story that you wanted to share, this is why I'm kind of creating these, like professionalists, just because I want to make sure it's on their newsfeed. Like if I had a lawyer friend who is being successful in the business, I could just come on their and share their story. Okay, I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. My daughter is being super loud, sorry. That's why I've been on mute. <laughs> <laughs> like in there, yes, we know. We know how this goes. <laughs> All right. So um, that, um, that was great. I mean, I'm glad that you were able to show them directly because I know I do get a lot of questions about, like, how did the Facebook Yeah. Facebook and it's yeah. one of those things that I, for the longest, said that I was going to do, but it's time consuming. Yeah. I recommend starting it and just, like, adding to it every week until you're able to get it, you know, going. But I highly recommend them, especially if you're working full time. Even if you're not working full time, this is really great to do. Right. Okay, so um, I guess we can open it up. Um, and then for questions, if you guys have any specific questions for her. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you encourage, like, now if you have, like, all of these distributors, do you encourage all of them to run their offices every month? Um, I do. I also run, like, I do try to do giveaways for my team monthly. So one of the, like, ways to get entered into the giveaway usually is for you to run your, your ADBV auto ship just because you should be trying the products. And I felt like I, I, like when I started and I was studying the different products, it's one thing for you to read off of a piece of paper how a product works, but it's something totally different for you to be able to tell somebody that, yeah, I, drink, I took Thermofit and I drank coffee and I was just so jittery, so I wouldn't recommend you doing that. Or fat fighters, if I take too many, I'm constipated. You know, like, so you know, like, how it's going to make you feel. Profit might be gritty to you. Um, greens. Hold on. What's wrong, Riley? One second. Hold on, let me see what's going on right here. 
But yeah, that is a good thing that I did do one time before, and I guess I need to go back to doing this. Is um, you don't have to do anything extreme in terms of um, you know, giveaways, but just like incentives because you know, auto shipment is kind of like law. But okay, she's yeah, asking. it is. Yeah, it, it definitely is, and and not even just because you know you want to get paid. Which is which should be your number one priority for doing it. And which I there were, were months when I first started where I couldn't afford an auto shipment, but at least make sure your commission qualified so that you can get a check. Um, but I try to run my auto ship. I do run my auto shipment every month just because I want to try different products. And now that I have a regimen, I'm usually running out of something like probiotics. Like I can't live without those now. Like I make sure those are on my um, auto ship every month. Um, Cleanser, I just refilled on that, um, which that lasts me for a few months, but I'm constantly like putting different products in rotation. And I, well, I won't say different products. I used to put different products, but now I have my own regimen of products that I love. Um, I'm trying to grow my hair back. So I'm taking hair, skin, nails, um, greens. I always make sure I'm well stocked on greens. So definitely try the product so you can tell someone or if they call you and say, hey, I tried the greens and water, but I don't really like it. You can say, oh, well, the berry mix, I like berry and apple juice or I like berry and whatever juice. I like the orange and orange juice. So you can tell them what you um, what you think about it. And when you sound confident in knowing your products because you've tried it and you love it, um, people are more apt to keep buying from you and they like feel like they're safe in, in taking your recommendations, if that makes sense. So run your auto shipments because you, you will get so many. I've gotten on three ways with some of my team members and they're like sitting there and I can literally tell they're like reading off the website or off of a sheet like the catalog and I'm like I don't even look at that when I'm talking at like customers like um, potentials I can tell you how much stuff costs or if somebody says oh I want thermo fit and the fat fighters like I know that hey okay well if we do this you can save ten dollars by getting this new pack that I have or whatever um so you should know the prices like off the top of your head um know all of that because it, when you're on the phone with somebody they're feeding off of your energy and what you you're excitement about the product okay and so for the people like you said when you, if you can't afford to run your auto shipment in the beginning it's still just good to like familiarize yourself with all the products so you can't or put one product it doesn't have to be adbv put one product i mean yeah. fat fires 23 dollars um hair skin nails 30 dollars put something in your, your basket every month okay yeah yeah Yes, and I think I like that you said that um, specifically just because I, that has happened where, um, you know, if I'm on a call with someone or around someone um, that's on the team and they kind of don't really know too much about the product, it's kind of like, uh, I know so much about the products because I <laughs> even, you know, breastfeeding with Audrey, I still, you know, try to test out yeah. things just so that I can be like, okay, as soon as someone asks about breastfeeding, I'm like, no, I know, I don't, I wouldn't try that or mm -hmm. do try that, you know, things like that. So, yeah, that's huge on being a product of the product, basically. Yeah, or mixing like what you're taking, like Thermofit. Thermofit doesn't do all that great for me. Like I, it's just not something that I take regularly. Um, I provide, prefer its vital core, but everybody's different. But you can also recommend that. So if they're not doing, they're not losing any weight with Thermofit. I usually switch people to its vital core because it's better sometimes if you're not working out, especially. It's gonna help you lose weight quicker than Thermofit will. But that's just my preference. But you can share things like that if you've actually tried it. Right. And like even when you, so when you tell them like um, with the system, you always tell them that they get that $10 credit, which is a perk point. Mm -hmm. right. and, and I was talking to my team about this today. One girl was like, oh, this girl was starting her weight loss journey and she wants to order products. Should I like introduce tell her about the cleanse maybe and then share the system i was like no start big i always start big like that's another thing like i don't try to peep people's pockets i've been on the phone with people too and they're like oh i don't think that they can afford it so i'm not going to talk to them about the system because it's so expensive but you'd be surprised what people will do when they want pro like want this stuff they're gonna pay for it so don't peep their pocket and just think like that goes back to you having confidence that they are going to place this order so i always start with the system i start really high if they're like like, say, for instance, if someone called me and said they were wanting to lose weight, 
I will just, I'm going to walk you through how I talk. I'm like, oh, well, you should definitely try. Um, the four products that I recommend would be our cleanse. So it's a two-day cleanse. Most of my clients are losing weight between five or between five and 10 pounds in two days by taking it. My greens detox is a powder that you would mix in water and juice. Um, you drink that daily. Um, it comes all... I would also recommend ThermoFit, which is a metabolism booster. It's going to curb your appetite, um, help you, you know, lose weight. It's a weight loss supplement. And then the wraps. So the wraps is going to tighten, tone, and firm anywhere from the neck down um, while you're losing that weight so that you're not having slackening skin. And then at that point, I'm going to say, well, what, which one of those interests you? Most likely, a lot of times people are like, oh, how can I try out for it? How much is it? I don't even tell them the price until they ask me the price. And if I say $147 and you're saving $100 by getting them together, because if you bought them separately, it'll be $100 more. And then if they're like, oh, I really can't afford that, all I have is $100. So then I'm going to take one product off and keep working with them. But if you didn't start high, it's kind of hard for you to start low and then work your way up. Um, I start high and then work your way down is what I always suggest to my team members. Just because you're trying to get um, – the most volume out of it and then if they're they're down with the system when i say oh okay well how's your lifestyle are you eating healthy i would highly recommend you adding fat fighters to it too because um when you have those cheat meals fat fighters are going to absorb the fat and carbs so your body doesn't they're like oh how much are those i'm gonna be like oh they're only 20 dollars extra or you could get that 10 dollar product credit that you're going to get from ordering the system and turn around and use it and get 10 dollars off of the fat fighters and only get it for 13 dollars so that's another way that i always add fat fighters onto the system too. So start high, definitely. And now that we have all of these packs, there's so many different options for you to start high and they're all really good in volume. That's true. Anybody got any other questions? We got 20 more minutes. 15, I guess, to give you some time. I have a question mm -hmm. um, on when doing voice memos on Facebook Messenger, how I know it's probably a stupid question, but I can't figure out how to do the memo. Like I see the little icons at the bottom, but I don't know which one. It's hidden. Um, you press. Hold on. You go to the dots. Do you see the dot, dot, dot towards yeah. the end? Oh, voice. Yep. Okay. Click there and then do voice and then just hold down that red button. Okay. Record. And then you said you forward it. You don't uh -huh. like record. So I send it to myself first because, you know, sometimes you might sound crazy. Yes, brother. <laughs> okay. We'll look in just a second. Okay. Give me one second. Um, so you, you record it. I send it to myself because I'm not going to just send it to somebody without listening to how I sound. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I record it like five times. And then whenever I find one that I like, I forward it by, um, clicking the little arrow next to the message that's saying up. Mm -hmm. So you click forward message and then you just search names at the top and you can literally go through and send it to like 10 people just off this one page, well, more than 10, everybody that you want to send it to, you just click send and it forwards it out. So I don't say names. I just say, hey girl, or good morning. Um, I want to tell you about this promotion that I have, blah, blah, blah. Like, so it's just a generic message, but it sounds personalized for that person without saying Okay. Everything. And you just mentioned the opportunity. You don't go like in deep detail until that. No, happens. like today, for instance, when I sent those memos out, um, hold on, I'll actually let you listen to one. Hey girl, I saw that you liked my post yesterday. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could hear that. About joining my team for free and also getting uh -oh. the $120 in free products. Um, I have this amazing deal that's going on until tomorrow at midnight. Um, so let me know if you'd like to get on the phone today so we can discuss it more um, to see if it's something that you'd be interested in so that you can take advantage before it ends tomorrow. Um, just message me your number and a good time to contact you today and we can hop on the phone and you can ask any questions you may have and I'll also share more information with you. Um, so just message me your number and I will get back to you. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So I just didn't think those out, but I didn't go into too much detail because I don't want them to like, right. I already know what I'm talking about. So I want to get them on the phone. So I like, I have like two girls that I'm talking to later tonight off of that memo. Oh, okay. That was perfect. I need to do that. I've been yeah, that was awesome. 
do that. Oh my <laughs> god. So I do that That's about products too. Good. Like when I need volume, I'll just be like, hey girl, I have a few spots to just opened up on my weight loss um, challenge for the next three months. I know you had said you were interested in whatever products. Are you still interested or are you still trying to lose weight? Whatever. But voice memos give you a better response than you sending a text, I think. At least that initial message, try to send a voice memo. Yeah, that, that's a game changer. I mean, I, I, well, I see Fallon always talk about it. And when we went to um, one team on mission, she was sitting there doing it. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I need to always do this. With it. I hate voice memos because, Me I too. Hate them because I'm always at work and I'm like, why is Fallon sending voice memos? And right. I can't even listen to this. <laughs> but I feel like when you're sending it to somebody, I don't know, I guess they, I, I, I would think that they feel like it's more personal because you took the time to send them a voice memo. But I don't know. Yeah, but since you were able like to record it and just send it to everyone. Yeah. That mm -hmm. And you can do that on Instagram too. You can forward oh. them and send them on Instagram. Oh. oh wait a minute. Um, hold on. But there is a time limit. I think it's like 30 seconds. It's oh. really short. See, I didn't know that you could even because even when I send like websites and stuff um through the DM, it just looks so weird. I haven't done a voice memo in here in a while. Let me see. I mean, I see video. No, no, no. It's a video. It's a video. Yeah, a video. That's what it is. Because I did a video here. But it's super short. I don't know how long this one is. So you don't cold message, like, at all? Mm-mm. Okay. I started, when I first started, I had printed out my Facebook list. And even Jessica said that last, on that call I watched, like a lot of the top leaders were just suggesting, I think Jade Hooper is who I followed heavy when I started. I had printed out my Facebook list and I still have it, but I've, I've never worked my way through it because I have like over 3,000 Facebook friends, but it's impossible to message everybody. Um, but I had like tried to do like a letter a month and that even was too much. So like starting at A's in January and work your way through. But and you, I wasn't getting a good response from just messaging someone cold like that. I just, and I've had people do it to me and I just don't like it from different companies, especially they can see that I'm a network marketer. Like, why are you asking me to join your team for unique or, um, Rodan and feels like I'm already in, in the business. So I don't cold message at all just cause I don't like the way it feels. Oh, yeah. And then follow up, y'all. Like, follow. A lot of times people just forget. Like, follow up until they tell you no. And even when they tell me no, I still, like, message them three months later. <laughs> because, and I, I look back, like, some of the girls have joined my team this month. I've messaged them so many times on Facebook, and it's all blue, 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 like me sending them messages. And like out of the blue, this one lady was like, oh, I'm ready to join your team. And she never would like my post. She, or she liked my post, but she would never respond to the messages. And I would invite her to my online events. She would never say anything. And then all of a sudden, she was like, I'm ready to join. I'm like, what, hi? But you haven't even said anything to any of my messages. So just always follow up. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can end it with um, just what's your three tips, um, you know, just as far as just like running the business, anything that you want to give to them? Do more. So like, I always like think about when I'm tired, like at night, and I'm like, oh, I want to go to bed. Like, I always think about do I want to quit my job this year? I do. So I need to message some people. I need to, I have like a six list that I try to do every like day and I hope I have accountability partners and we literally hold each other accountable by, we put our, our list on Evernote and we have to check them, check them off. And when we check in with each other, we have to have those things checked off or we have to put $5 into the savings account that we start. So we don't want to give our money away. So therefore we check off the things on our list. So money is our, our motivation here. So um, do those six things daily. And that includes like my, on my list, it's, it's adding a um, hundred people on Instagram, which I've kind of put a halt on right now, just because I'm, I'm trying to interact with people more. Um, I at, send 50, at least 50 friend requests on Facebook. I'm messaging at least 50 people every day. Um, can't think of the other things like your personal development. Um, 
what else? Checking in with my team every day. I usually have like somebody that I try to check in with every day um, just to do like a one-on-one. -on -one. And then also scheduling. I try to schedule two consultations every day. Like that's my goal before I go to bed. Like at least try to get two people scheduled for the following day or the next day. Um, always have somebody on your calendar. Always put things in your planner. Um, put them in your phone. I, I put things in my phone. I set reminders. I do it in my planner too because sometimes I just forget when it's in my planner, but it's popping up on my phone. Um, so do more. Before you go to bed, make sure all of the things, whatever those six things that you would call income producing activities for yourself, and be realistic. If you feel like the things you're doing are, is not producing um, any growth for you, switch it up. Maybe it's just not working. Maybe social media is not your thing. Maybe you need to go out and blitz more. Not everybody um, can work their business on social media or vice versa. Like I'm just not good with face to face. Um, the second thing would be to not compare yourself to anybody else. Um, Fallon, for instance, I remember Green Carpet, my first It Works event. I was, was it Green Carpet last year? The one in 2000. 15 gosh it's been so long but she young and free was really small then like it was just so tiny i just think back on that time like she was looking for someone to room with her at green carpet she was brand new i think she was not even a she was a ruby um and i was shooting for ruby i think we all were as a matter of fact like it was me her and janelle and we stayed together janelle george we had rented a house um in bradenton but <clears throat> I just remember staying with her or whatever, and that's when we like find, we connected for the first time. But I could easily sit here and compare my journey to her as like, oh, I'm just a diamond and Fallon's a presidential diamond. But my journey is totally different from Fallon's or anybody else's um, as far as that concerns. So run your own lane, put your blinders on, like focus on what you have going on. Don't compare yourself to anyone else and own the business. Like this is your business, put your personality in it. People want to see see you for who you are when you're posting and you're using and i i know when you first start you might copy and paste a lot of people's posts but even if you do that put your own twist on it like i do that sometimes when i just can't think of anything to post i will use someone else's post as motivation kind of and put my own twist on it because if you're just copying and pasting the person looking at the post is not even following in love like they're not following in love with you like they're gonna they're basically um, motivated by this person that's not even you like if you're copying Alina's post or whoever else so try to like on the business put your personality in it um, don't compare yourself to anybody else the third thing would be oh gosh I would say following up but also remember that especially if you don't have a huge team yet always think about you need to post think about what attracted you to the business so if internet for instance if internet enrolls you if she was solely posting about the product every day she never talked about how this business was changing her life you would have never been interested in reaching out to her so much so many times we get so focused on just posting about products that we don't talk about the business as much so definitely try to do at least one lifestyle post a day if not more but incorporate your story into um, your post and everybody has a story I my team always tells me oh I have nothing to post because I've never not even a Ruby yet I don't care like what do you plan on doing how did you put gas in today like do you have an it works commission card post a picture of your gas receipt at you at a gas pump um, with your it works card it works is like blessing your life by allowing you to fill your tank up or if you got wrap cash post a picture with wrap cash um, with the receipt a receipt of something you bought or wrap cash with a blitz card that used to always get me distributors um put post $25 a blitz card oh wrap cash comes in handy it pays for my gas it's going to pay for my daughter's activities this week or whatever um definitely incorporate the business because <clears throat> I know that was one of the reasons why I couldn't grow my team for the longest because I wasn't sharing my story and you'd be surprised of how much your story could bless somebody else um, people are looking for someone that they can relate to but if you're not sharing it nobody knows your struggles they're not going to relate to you you have to touch on the emotions um, and it can just bless somebody else not even if they join the business but I get that so much time in my so many times in my inbox like oh I just love following you just for the motivation or I'm a single mom and I'm just motivated so much by you so share your story um, be transparent so many times in our community it's looked down upon and shamed upon like you struggling like don't be be transparent even if you are struggling share that with the world um, and and that's why I think the white no offense 
to anybody on the call, but that's why Caucasian people in the business are, you know, moving up so fast is because they're so transparent. Like Alyssa Blue was on YouTube crying about her not being on food stamps anymore. Um, but we're too too proud to even say that we were once on food stamps or we are on food stamps, but we're so thankful that it works. It's gonna, you know, bring us out of that, that struggle. So share those things, um, be transparent, share the business, how it's changing your life, what you plan, um, how you plan for it to change your life, share other people's stories. So every Wednesday I spotlight a leader or just somebody's story that I found on Facebook. Um, I share stories all the time and a lot of like every time I share one my inbox I get like inbox messages like can you tell me more about the business or can you tell me such and such so Share other people's stories until you have a story of your own um, A success story of your own because you already have a story. So yeah, those would be my three tips. I Love like you literally hit on the nail for each one of them <laughs> especially the comparing one um, yeah. And of course the story one because I know a lot of my team do say that they don't have a story But I just always say that well, why did you join? That's your story mm -hmm. You know like if you join because you need the extra money or you know And even if you haven't gotten to where you exactly want to be mm -hmm. At least you know that you are able to get there by working hard. So All right. so yeah. um, We're gonna go ahead and let you go because I know you um, have a call at nine so I hope you have a great night and I thank you, thank you, thank, thank you so you guys much. Thank you for having me. Yes, of you guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you next Wednesday. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.